Stories from the driver's seat, the midnight road. The clock on the dashboard blinked 11.59 p.m. as Sarah tightened her grip on the steering wheel. The highway stretched out before her, a ribbon of asphalt bathed in the eerie glow of the full moon. She'd driven this route a hundred times, but tonight felt different. The usual hum of the engine seemed quieter, almost as if the car itself was holding its breath. The radio, usually a comfort on long drives, was crackling with static. Sarah fiddled with the dial, trying to find a station, but all she got was more static or snippets of a haunting melody that sent shivers down her spine. Giving up, she turned it off, letting the silence settle in. As the clock struck midnight, a thick fog rolled in, swallowing the road ahead. Sarah slowed down, peering through the mist, when suddenly the headlights caught something or someone standing on the side of the road. Her heart skipped a beat. It was a woman, dressed in an old-fashioned white dress, her face obscured by long, dark hair. Sarah hesitated, her foot hovering over the brake pedal. She knew the stories. Every town had them. The ghostly hitchhiker, the lost soul waiting for a ride that would never truly reach its destination. But this felt so real, so immediate. The woman raised her head, her eyes locking with Sarah's through the foggy windshield. Sarah's heart pounded as the woman's eyes bore into hers. They were hollow, lifeless, but something about them pleaded with her, a silent cry for help. Against her better judgment, Sarah found herself pulling over to the side of the road. The woman didn't move, didn't wave, or even acknowledge the car as it rolled to a stop in front of her. The door creaked as Sarah opened it, the cold night air rushing in. She leaned across the passenger seat, hesitant. Do you need a ride? She called out, her voice trembling. The woman didn't respond, but after a moment, she began to move, slowly, almost mechanically, toward the car. Sarah's pulse quickened. Every instinct screamed at her to drive away, to leave this strange figure in the fog. But before she could change her mind, the woman was there, standing at the open door. She slid into the passenger seat, the air around her growing colder, as if she had brought the chill of the grave inside with her. Sarah shivered, closing the door and turning the heat up. Where are you headed? She asked, trying to keep her voice steady. The woman remained silent, staring straight ahead. The headlights barely penetrated the fog as Sarah merged back onto the highway, the road seeming to close in around them. Minutes passed in tense silence. Sarah kept glancing over at her passenger, but the woman didn't move, didn't speak. Her hands lay folded in her lap, the white dress now visible as old, frayed, and dirty. Something about it seemed familiar, but Sarah couldn't place it. Are you okay? Sarah finally asked, her voice barely above a whisper. The woman turned her head slowly, her eyes locking onto Sarah's once more. A chill ran down her spine as a woman's lips parted, her voice raspy, as if unused for years. Take me home, the woman said, her words hanging in the air like a thick mist. Sarah swallowed hard, her mind racing. Where's home? The woman's gaze grew distant and she slowly raised one hand, pointing ahead into the fog. Just keep driving, she whispered. With no other choice, Sarah pressed down on the gas, the car picking up speed as the road stretched out endlessly before them. The landscape around them seemed to shift, the familiar landmarks disappearing into the fog. The miles rolled on and Sarah's unease grew with each passing moment. The woman remained still, her presence weighing heavily in the car. After what felt like an eternity, the fog began to lift, revealing a sharp turn ahead. A weathered sign stood at the side of the road. The letters faded and cracked. Devil's Bend. Sarah's breath caught in her throat. She knew this place, the stories, the warnings, 
the tales of those who never made it out once they turned down that road. The woman's hand moved again, pointing toward the ominous turn. Here, the woman whispered, her voice barely audible. Sarah hesitated, the car slowing as she reached the bend. The air grew colder, the shadows darker. Are you sure? She asked, her voice trembling. The woman nodded, her eyes filled with the sadness that seemed to reach into Sarah's soul. With a deep breath, Sarah turned the wheel, guiding the car onto the narrow, winding road. The fog thickened once more, closing in around them like a shroud. The woman's voice cut through the silence, a single word hanging in the air. Thank you. And then, as suddenly as she had appeared, the woman was gone. The passenger seat was empty, the chill in the air dissipating. Sarah's hands shook as she gripped the steering wheel, her mind reeling. Had she imagined it? Was any of it real? The road ahead was empty, the fog slowly lifting to reveal the familiar highway. Sarah glanced at the clock. It was 12.01 a.m. She was alone. Sarah drove on, her mind racing with questions. She couldn't shake the feeling of the woman's presence lingering in the car, even though she was gone. The turn onto Devil's Bend had taken her far off her usual route, and as she glanced around, the landscape seemed unfamiliar. The road twisted and turned in ways that felt unnatural, almost as if it were leading her somewhere specific, somewhere she wasn't meant to find. The radio, still off, suddenly crackled to life, filling the car with that same eerie static from before. Sarah reached out to turn it off again, but froze when she heard a voice, faint and distorted, breaking through the noise. Help me, find my way home. Sarah's blood ran cold. It was the woman's voice. The static faded, replaced by a soft, melancholy tune that she didn't recognize. The music wrapped around her, tugging at memories she didn't know she had. She kept driving, the road narrowing, trees closing in on both sides. The headlights cut through the darkness, but the oppressive feeling of the night seemed to push back against the light. Then, in the distance, she saw something that made her heart skip a beat. A faint glow just off the side of the road. Curiosity and dread battled within her, but she couldn't resist. Sarah slowed the car and pulled over, the tires crunching on gravel as she came to a stop. The glow was coming from a small clearing, partially obscured by the trees. Leaving the engine running, Sarah stepped out of the car, the night air biting against her skin. She hesitated, then walked toward the light, her footsteps crunching on the frosty ground. As she approached, she realized the glow was coming from a series of old, weathered lanterns, their flames flickering weakly in the night. In the center of the clearing stood an old, dilapidated house. The wood was rotting, the windows shattered, but it was the kind of place that felt ancient, as if it had been forgotten by time. Sarah's heart pounded as she took it all in, a sense of recognition washing over her. This place, she had seen it before, in dreams and fleeting memories she had never been able to place. And then, as if in response to her thoughts, the front door creaked open, revealing nothing but darkness inside. Sarah knew she shouldn't go in. Every instinct screamed at her to get back in the car and drive away to leave this haunted place behind, but something stronger pulled her forward, a compulsion she couldn't explain. She stepped through the door, the darkness swallowing her whole. Inside the air was heavy with the scent of decay, the floorboards creaking under her weight. The house seemed to whisper around her, the walls closing in. Find me? The voice echoed in her mind, not through her ears and Sarah realized with a start that it wasn't just the woman's voice. It was hers, mingled with the other, a pleading, desperate call that resonated deep within her. She moved through the house, guided by some unseen force, until she reached a small room at the end of a narrow hallway. 
The door was ajar, and as she pushed it open, she was met with a sight that took her breath away. In the center of the room, illuminated by a single, dim lantern, was a mirror, ancient, its surface clouded with age. But as Sarah stepped closer, the reflection that stared back at her wasn't her own. It was the woman from the road, her dark eyes filled with sorrow, her pale hand reaching out from the glass. Help me, the reflection whispered, the words barely audible. Sarah's breath caught in her throat. The woman's hand pressed against the glass, and without thinking, Sarah reached out to meet it. The moment their hands touched, a shock ran through her, the mirror rippling like water. Memories flooded Sarah's mind, flashes of a life not her own, of a tragedy that had bound the woman's spirit to this place, to this road. She saw the woman waiting for someone, waiting for a way home that had never come, trapped in a loop of endless night. I was the one, Sarah whispered, the realization hitting her like a physical blow. I was the one who never came. The woman in the mirror nodded slowly, tears streaming down her face. But now, you're here. You can free me. Sarah's heart ached with a sadness she couldn't explain. The memories, the connection, everything was so clear now. She wasn't just a stranger who had picked up a ghostly hitchhiker. She was a part of the story a piece that had been missing for so long. With a deep breath, Sarah pressed her hand harder against the mirror. I'll help you, she vowed, her voice trembling with emotion. The mirror began to glow, the light growing brighter, engulfing the room in a warm, golden hue. The woman's figure shimmered, and then, with a final, grateful smile, she began to fade, dissolving into the light. The house around Sarah seemed to breathe a sigh of relief, the oppressive darkness lifting. The lanterns burned brighter, the air growing warmer. Sarah felt a weight lift from her shoulders, the heavy burden of unfinished business finally easing. As the light faded, Sarah found herself standing alone in the small room. The mirror was gone, replaced by a simple, cracked window that looked out onto the clearing. The fog had lifted completely, revealing a clear, starry night. She turned to leave, her footsteps lighter now. The house felt different, less threatening, more at peace. When she stepped outside, the glow of the lanterns guided her back to the car, their light soft and welcoming. Sarah got in, the engine purring as she started it up. As she pulled back onto the road, the clock on the dashboard read, 12.05 a.m. The night seemed quieter now, the air no longer heavy with unseen eyes. As she drove, Sarah felt a sense of closure, as if she had finally completed a journey she hadn't known she was on. The road ahead was clear, the fog gone, and for the first time in a long while, she felt like she was heading home. The drive home was calm, almost surreal, the oppressive weight that had clung to Sarah since she first saw the woman on the side of the road was gone, replaced by an unexpected sense of peace. The night sky, now clear and star-studded, stretched out above her, offering a serenity that had been absent all night. As she neared the familiar town limits, the streetlights flickered on, bathing the road in a soft amber glow. Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that she had been part of something much larger than herself, something ancient and tragic that had finally found resolution. She glanced in the rearview mirror, half expecting to see the woman's ghostly figure lingering in the back seat, but it was empty, just like the road behind her. The only thing reflected back at her was her own tired yet oddly content face. The clock on the dashboard blinked 12.15 a.m. as she pulled into her driveway. The house, warm and inviting, was a welcome sight after the night's strange events. She turned off the engine and sat for a moment in the silence, replaying everything that had happened. It felt like a dream, 
distant and foggy, but the lingering sense of fulfillment told her it had been real. Sarah stepped out of the car, the cool night air feeling less menacing now, almost comforting. She locked the car and walked to her front door, the porch light casting long shadows across the lawn. As she fumbled for her keys, a movement caught her eye. She turned slowly, her breath catching in her throat. Standing at the edge of the yard, just beyond the reach of the porch light, was the woman. But this time, there was no sadness in her eyes, no sorrow weighing her down. She looked peaceful, almost radiant, her white dress flowing gently in the breeze. Sarah stared, her heart pounding, but she wasn't afraid. The woman offered a small, grateful smile and nodded once, as if to say goodbye. Then as quickly as she had appeared, she faded into the night, the darkness swallowing her up. Sarah stood there for a moment longer, her eyes searching the shadows, but the woman was gone. She let out a breath she didn't know she was holding and turned back to her door. The key slid easily into the lock and she stepped inside closing the door softly behind her. As Sarah settled into bed that night, she couldn't help but feel a sense of closure, not just for the woman she had encountered, but for herself as well. The journey had ended, the road behind her now just a memory, a story that she would carry with her, but no longer burden her. And as she drifted off to sleep, the sound of the road humming beneath her tires seemed to echo in her ears, a reminder that sometimes the most unexpected detours lead us exactly where we need to go. Thank you for following along with me. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Thank you for watching, and I genuinely appreciate you all.